Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to more of the campaign for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I'm playing as the Germans and so far I've been able to cripple some of the British fleet. However, they're building ships and I'm not. Now the reason for this initially was because I was trying to get a bit of research done. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the better battleship hull, the Battleship 3. But it seems that due to a bug, I cannot build the Battleship 3 hull. I don't know why, it's just not there. Uh, same for the rangefinder that I have researched, it is not there. So there are definitely bugs in this early version of the campaign. Nevertheless, uh, so far I've been able to get quite a few victory points. Unfortunately my power projection is still pretty terrible. So as much as I would like to, um, well, wait for better tech, I think it's not quite feasible. So basically um, I can wait for this. The increase of the shipyard and build some bigger battleships, but that's about it. Let's first see if we can do something about the British aggression here. Over in the English Channel we have a fight between one of my cruisers and one of theirs. Let's have this fight. I'm interested in seeing what the British can field. It's not the first time, of course, that we've seen one of their heavy cruisers. Uh, it'll definitely not be the last. But uh, my cruisers are usually more than up to the job of killing these things off. Because I find that the AI is generally not great at operating ships. They tend to rely on accuracy of their ships, which, well, in this early era is just not a thing. Your ships don't have any accuracy. Well, they would if I was able to install <laughs> any kind of range-finding device. But I can't. So here I am with just basically... Fire, watch the splash, and hope that you hit something. Something else, as I have mentioned before, um, spotting is limited. This light, cru sorry, this heavy cruiser popped up at 4.4 kilometers. That's the earliest warning that I got about there being a ship. So, despite having quite the high, well, quite the tall tower, it is simply not sufficient. At least um, until I get radar. Oh wow. This is gorgeous. We got a first hit and immediately started flooding the target. That is really, really nice. That was the actual first damaging hit that I did with a three inch gun of all things. Now that means that the Royal Arthur is gonna be far slower than she would like. She's currently doing about 11 knots as opposed to the Lutzo, which is doing more than that. I'm currently cruising around at 19. The plan is to rush up to her and make sure that she eats another flooding incident, a.k.a. a torpedo. When it comes to firing high explosive shells at this range, I found that to be sufficient, generally, to slow them down. Because they start taking damage to the superstructure, they start taking damage in general to the ship. Which means that not only um, do they slow down, but also the whole structure integrity starts to fall. And on top of that, these, th these ships aren't particularly quick. They're 17.3, so as opposed to trying to chase down a battleship with a difference of one knot, the Lutso is definitely capable of dealing with the Royal Arthur. Although, credit where credit is due, the Arthur has been able to completely fix all of her flooding. Considering that she was flooding in three compartments, I think that is quite a feat. That is well done to the British. Let's make that a nice thumbnail. And current accuracy is 6.6. .6. That's not bad. Now, it does say that the pen chance is 100%. I kind of doubt that. But then again, this ship only has uh, a 0.1 aft belt and a 0.2 inch fore belt. The main belt is 4 inches thick, as opposed to my belt, which is 5 inch and 3 inch on the fore. Which probably means that they're going to have all sorts of trouble. Yeah, the belt is very difficult for them to pin. And of course, I have a pretty high ricochet chance. The chance that I'm going to be dodging their shells is good. The only thing I need to worry about is their torpedo launcher. Underwater torps, port and starboard. And I am very much trying to avoid getting torpedoed. Because these heavy cruisers as opposed to my torpedo boats, take quite a while to build. Not nearly as long as a battleship, of course, but nevertheless, I very much prefer not to lose one of these ships. 
And I kind of enjoy, actually, these small 1v1 fights. Sure, you can just hit Alter Resolve on everything. That is definitely an option. But that's, for me, not really part of the fun. I like these 1v1s, where it's just your seamanship and your ship trying to get rid of their ship, as opposed to having this, let's say, 20, 25 unit fleet action. Oh, that went right through the bow. Let's see if my damage control ability is as good as theirs. This is not good for my speed. Let's have the secondaries go for HE and the mains go for AP. Because they can flood me out, although I have already fixed it. But can they say the same? Range. That was a great hit. Range is now 0.8. I'm trying to stay behind them as much as possible to prevent their torpedo attack. I have a torpedo arc. They do not. Also, by trying to trail the ship, I'm very much hoping that I can get a good hit on their rudder. Which would mean that they're even more crippled when it comes to dealing with torpedoes. Torpedo away, bow launcher. And is the Royal Arthur going to dodge... No, she is not. Hard starboard. That's one torp. Three engines are out. Starboard. It's going to receive another torp. Although the Royal Arthur might not be there. Yep, we got her. And I'm dodging her torp. Perfect. Interestingly, the ship has survived the second torpedo. Probably because of all that flooding that had already happened. So now we're just going to try and burn her down. There we go. Now she died to heavy flooding. That's another torpedo hit. And the Lutso escaped almost unharmed. So that's a good fight. Uh, 583 victory points gained versus two for the British. How many heavies do they have left? 11 heavy cruisers. Okay. Versus four of mine. Right. I really want that upgrade to the shipyard. Next turn. I lost... No, they lost a transport ship. That's good. Oh, I completely forgot about a convoy thing there. Um, is my shipyard ready? Yes, it is. Okay, so I can now build 9,750 ton battleships. 9,750. That's already quite a bit bigger than the ship that I used to have. Uh, not really when it comes to the ability to put more guns on. But still, um, it is a noticeable increase. As far as tech goes, I'm still very, very poor. Now, if I can field some really big guns on these, then I might be able to get a lot of firepower concentrated on a pretty small platform. So let's go for these huge 12-inch guns. And then the best towers. Of course, the ship is massively overweight. Even if I slow it down to 17 knots, I'm afraid that it's not going to be sufficient. There we go. But I still have to add a funnel. Shift that back. There we go. 0.4. I have 50 tons left to either add armor or protection. Or to get a bit of secondary firepower in. Let's set that... Uh, let's set it to low. 7,248 kilometers. That should be enough to get us to Britain and back quite a few times. Oh, the rangefinder's here. What? So the rangefinder's here, but the battleship hull is not? I do not understand. Anyway, this is going to give me a little bit more base accuracy, but much more gain gun aiming speed. That's very nice. These guns can reload in... <laughs> in 96 seconds. Oh, no. Okay. Um... In that case, in the meanwhile, I want to pepper the ship with high explosive shells. So, three inches ideally all over the place. Some parts are badly placed. These? Yes. Game did not like that. Let's go for a nine inch main armor belt. Uh, considering we're mostly going to be chasing after this ship. Four inch aft. I'm going to once again skimp on deck armor because I do not expect to be important. These 
Encounters with ships generally don't have plunging fire. Okay, so we've got my three inchers looking all over the place. That's good. Can I still mount torps? Not really. That's 23 tons per torpedo launcher. I'd rather have a bit more armor. Aft offset is 2%. In this era, your offset can be very important. Because with a 0.9 aft offset, I'm still looking at less accuracy over the already terrible accuracy. So with a 0.9, it's it's okay. But if I were to go to, let's say, 2.2, I'd still be at a pretty shitty position because that completely negates the rangefinder. So let's not do that. Um, when it comes to the design... Yeah, I don't mind calling it the Kaiser Karl der Große. Save it. I don't need to copy it, thank you. Delete. Exit. Okay, I want to build one of those. Uh, that is 262,000. I would like three of those, please. Meaning that my monthly budget, or my monthly balance... No, sorry, I have 12 million in naval funds. Oh, never mind. These things are going to take 13 months to build. And once they're done, I have more battleships than the British do. I, however, do not have anywhere near their amount of heavy cruisers or light cruisers. Let's see. I'm suspecting that if I get a main tower installed, does that mean I can get a rangefinder? Yes. That's the thing. Okay. Can I upgrade my existing ships? Because that'd be great. Um, that's the Orion design. View. No. I cannot adjust the design at all. Okay. Can I adjust a ship if it is... Let's say if I recall the side leads. Can I recall it then? Because if the site leads is in the port, can I upgrade it? No. Crap. Maybe that's going to come later, but I would very much love to upgrade my ships. Anyway, I'm going to go with a new design, which is basically going to be a copy of the Orion class. It's just that this time around, they're going to have a rangefinder. He said enthusiastically, and then couldn't fit one. Go to front tower two. No. What? Rear tower two? Nope. What the hell? Delete the design. Uh, I don't need a new Bismarck class, thank you. Give me a main tower, front tower, secondary tower. There, rangefinder. Okay, I guess it had to be a new ship or something. Um, many bulkheads, or do I go for standard? If I just put on a lot more armor, I might not need that many bulkheads. It's a terrible trade-off. What I want for these is to be able to hunt down light cruisers. That's the plan. So I'm going to give them fairly low range of about 6,000. And hopefully this way, with the better towers, if I even need those. This is... That's a whole one point of base accuracy, which basically translates to 50% increase. Okay. All right, so I'm chasing down light cruisers. That means I need to be able to defend myself against something up to 7-inch, I guess. Let's say I'm fighting at two and a half kilometers. That means effectively nine and a half inches of armor need to be present. Um, the light cruisers themselves are not particularly heavily armored. So they're something that I might be able to pretty quickly blow out of the water with a couple of small six inch guns. Enhanced reload. I want heavy shells. I do not have any improvement for uh, powder or propellant. So we're going to have to roll with that. And then 
Ideally the biggest casemate or secondary guns that I can field. Yeah, not that. I wouldn't even know where to fit these 4-inchers. So we're going to have to go with 4-inch casemates. Uh, barbette armor is not terribly important. 20 knots. 21 knots. Let's go for a middle ground. And when it comes to the armor... Let's get a nice 4 belt of... 3 inches, especially if I angle that, that should be great. And then aft belt, 1 inch. Main armor belt, a little lower, aft belt, a little better. There. It's just that we have a pretty hefty 4 weight offset. There's not that much that I can do about that. Yes, I might be able to move the tower back. Oh, not even. The funnel? So, oh, Jesus. How's your engine... <laughs> oh, no. Engine efficiency on these is atrocious. Even with these. Heavy cruisers, I guess, are not designed to be fast. <sighs> what if I go for a different tactic? What if I do not go with a heavy cruiser, but if I go for a torpedo boat that's capable of chasing down ships? If I do that... So, let's just give them, I don't know, 3,000 kilometer range. Standard amount of bulkheads. You're going to be doing 30 knots. And your sole purpose in life is to shit on a light cruiser. Just dump a torpedo into it. That's basically all that I'm asking you to do. There, get a main gun installed. Boom. Uh, we need to move that back. Four is one one. Six point one. Gonna shift this back slightly? No. There is no slightly on these holes. Fine. One point eight is what I'll have to use. These things are very, very fast for their era. Thirty knots. As for the torpedoes, I cannot upgrade the size, nor the propellant yet. Can I go 31? Yes! Okay, excellent. Armor is very much a secondary concern. Um, when it comes to the name, let's say uh, these are TB anti-CL. Anti-light cruiser. Save the design. I want to get a whole bunch of those. Build me a whole bunch. There. Because these can work not only against the light cruiser, but also against something that looks like a battleship. So, that's going to take me a while. When these ships come into being, I want to set them all up, I suppose, in Emden. I think that's the most likely port. So, let's go for all these ships. These boys are all in being. No, you are not. You're in sea control mode. The moment that you get fielded and you're all going to be stationed in Emden. All right. Currently no fights happening. I still have 12 million in naval funds. Which is weird. What do we have here? A light cruiser of theirs versus a heavy of mine. Okay, sure. Sure. Northwest there. Now, this ship, 19 knots. I think I cannot keep up with their light cruisers because if I remember correctly, they're doing 22 knots. And this means that I will not be able to really deliver torpedoes. Uh, the Blucher at least has a regular trained crew. So I get a nice bonus there to accuracy. And hopefully these 7-inch guns, especially firing high explosive, are capable of wrecking that light thing very quickly. There you are. Hello. Four and a half clicks out. Oh, right. It was that weird design of theirs with all these turrets. It's basically a gun platform. Accuracy is already 1-2%. 
That's very good. I guess the crew training is starting to pay off. Hold off on the torpedo launch. Not that it's going to launch it already, but eventually it might. And let's just pepper them with four, three, two, and seven inch shells. Black Cruiser Brisbane. Many bulkheads, 20 knots. So I'm only marginally slower. But... This boy carries torpedoes. I need to be very wary of that. Because these ships have many bulkheads, but a torpedo is still going to hit like a truck. So let's get in their way. And slow down to half or even slow speed. And the plan this way is to ensure that I'm going to make it very difficult for them to get a torpedo hit. The Brisbane... Yeah, there we go. There's the counter torpedo. She's going to hit. Boom. It's going to hurt. Their torpedo is utterly useless. And she dies. There we go. Now, these are very, very quick fights. Uh, Blueheart took some damage, but probably should be fixed in a month. There. 338 versus 2. Ship stats. The crew remaining 99%. I'm fine. Damage received 106. Perfect. Very well done. Okay. Moving on. Building new ships. I think that my ships are... Especially the torpedo boats. Oh, it's going to take me four months to build those. A few months. Very good. If I want to increase the shipyard... By another 2,000 tons. I'm going to have to wait 24 months. That's two years. It's going to take another big chunk out of my naval budget as well. Now, this is something that I had uh, changed off screen. The transport capacity slider. I want to make sure I get enough transport ships. Because if I do not, then I simply will have a pretty big deficit when it comes to my monthly income. So I'm trying to get my transport losses to a minimum. Especially with getting new ships. And by doing so, I want to get more sea control. I lost three transports, but they lost one. Is that a convoy of ours or theirs? We've dispatched ships to raid an enemy close to their ports. Yes, there we go. It's three transports against the Brisk and four transports. Oh, sorry, it's three torpedo boats. Let's have a go. I really want to get rid of these transports. All right, enemies, southwest, torpedo boats. Tight formation. Torpedoes denied until further order. I want you all to detach. Because I have very little faith in our ability to go in one by one. I want to go in in more of a swarm. So let's slow you down some. Let's go there, here. Status on your speed, 21 knots, perfect. Enemy to the west. To the west we shall go. Now you need to slow down as well. Those transports can do 12 to 15 knots, they're not fast. Sink 50% of their transports. I can do that. Hello. Are you a light cruiser by any chance? Yep, you are. It's one of those gun platforms again. And ideally, I would hit them with these two torpedo boats at the same time. Because once the light cruiser's out of the way, and I can potentially sandwich it between these two torpedo boats, then the transports are easy picking. Ah, now they have spotted me. One thing that I do need to be wary of is the torpedo launchers, as always. Because these light cruisers have surprised my torpedo boats before. And I intend to do better this time. You know what, I want to have you continue on the course to where the, ter uh, where the light cruiser came from initially. Because I'm expecting that the transports are somewhere back there. Let's cut them off. I'm still using my speed to get ahead of them and outside of the torpedo arc. 
Now we can launch our torpedo. And they just launched theirs. Torpedo away. The Brisk already has engine damage. That's going to make it more difficult to control flooding. Boom. Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. Didn't see that. The Brisk is flooding badly, and the S14 dodged the Torp very deftly. Excellent. There's another one. Brisk. Have another fish. Torpedo away. Already predicted getting torpedoed in return. Torpedo strikes the light cruiser. Light cruiser's dead. I can already end the battle. Uh, what? Why is the battle ending? Are they... Are you counting these as alive? Ship sunk. Zero versus one. Why... Why are these transports considered alive? Should I have kept the light cruiser around until the transports died? Because that makes no sense. That just makes no sense. There. Damage to the S14 was light. The brisk has been sunk. Doesn't say anything about the transports. That's just weird. Hmm. A little while later, we have an encounter between the Rune and the Antrim. Which, once again, for the British, is going about as well as you can expect. The Rune is hunting down the Antrim. Uh, has taken quite a bit of structural damage, or at least the Antrim has. Whereas the Rune is perfectly fine. I was able to force the Antrim to turn using a torpedo, and because of that turn they lost a ton of speed. So now the Rune can turn to port. Kind of exposing her side, but with that also exposing a torpedo launcher. And at this point the Antrim does not have any recourse but to eat the torpedo right in the rudder. I'm going to slow down the Rune, task her with turning around. And I'm going to have to go very careful here before the Antrim is able to launch her port torpedo launcher against the rune. So I'm just kind of circling the ship. There's the torpedo. The rune did eat it. Shit. Nevertheless, the rune should be able to survive, whereas the Antrim cannot. And I still have the port torpedo launcher that I'm trying to bring to bear. There we go. What? Hold on, did that torpedo have a minimum aiming range? Or arming range? Because that could explain why the Antrim didn't actually take any damage from that. Okay, aft torpedo launcher. Preferably somewhere midships or bow. Yes, there we go. Antrim is down. Rune did take a bunch of damage, including flooding, but should still be able to recover from that. Let's see how long that's going to set her back. Where's my fleet? Where is the rune? Two months. Considering that she got a lot of her bow just done in by the torpedo, I'm surprised that she's going to be <laughs> available in two months. Anyway, we've been able to cripple the British fleet quite a bit. They're down to 60 ships. My ships are coming up nicely. Um, slowly but steadily, I am getting a bit more sea control. But... The enemy still has a lot more power projection, so I cannot wait until my battleships arrive. But that's going to be in another 10 months. I'm not sure how much sea control all of these little transports or these TP boats add. But I think I did lose a bit more when it comes to finances. Even though my transport fleet's okay, my monthly income is 6,000. Anyway, that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And soon there will be another episode with more of the campaign. I'll see you then.